What's going on there anglers? Welcome to another episode of All In Fishing. And this has been a this has been an episode that I've been wanting to do for a while. This is Lake Mead. I'm here with Jesse, J Dog, and yeah, we're at Hemingway. And to be honest, I've been putting off trying to fish Lake Mead for the longest time because honestly, I have no idea how to fish it anymore. All the spots that we used to know, it's all dried up and it's really sad. We try to fish spots that we kind of knew before, like Hole 33 and Scenic View, and it's just been dried up. You just can't really fish it anymore. It's a massive amount of a hike. So we're gonna test our luck here at Hemingway and try to shore bang right here on the side. But it's just honestly crazy to see and sad to see how much the water has dropped. I mean, at some point, we used to fish off of this pier. And it's sad, I mean, the water's all the way over there. It's insane. And the water just keeps going further and further back. And if you guys haven't noticed, or I'm sorry, if you guys haven't knew, that Hemingway is now the only spot where you can launch your boats. All the other spots that you were able to launch your boats before, they all closed down. And now Hemingway is the last spot that you can do that. So boat traffic and boat launches have taken hours for people to launch their boats now. And even to bring them back in, it's a whole, it's a whole process. And maybe in the coming weeks, I mean, I hope it doesn't happen, but we might not be able to launch our boats at all. So it's just honestly sad to see how Lake Mead is turning out and how it potentially might be a dead pool at some point and how it's gonna affect, you know, the city of Las Vegas in the future. Because all the water, you know, powers the Hooper Dam and all the turbines that they have over there, so at some point if the water level reaches a certain level, I don't know exactly off the top of my head what the water level is, but once it gets to that point, I just can't power the generators anymore. Or sorry, the turbines. So, you know, we gotta make the most of it now. Enjoy Lake Mead for what it is and, and just enjoy it. We're gonna test our luck, see if we can get on some stripers out here, maybe some largies or some smallies. We're gonna try to, you know, throw some crankbaits, throw some top waters maybe, and then we are gonna rig a anchovy rig. So we're just gonna let that soak in the water and see if that helps out. We got the new station over here. But, I mean, we parked all the way over there. The water level, like I said, the water level was up there before. Oh, that was a carp right here. Was it? Yeah. Oh, he's probably eating the uh, thing we already threw out. A lot of grass right here. I'm on. <laughs> what is that? Then I don't even think I'm rolling. Is that a bass? 
That's a bass, baby! Woo! On a jerk bait. First cast. No bullshit. On a jerk bait. <laughs> no bullshit. First lake mead, largey of the year. On a jerk bait. Here at Hemingway Harbor. All right, y'all. We're gonna let this guy go. Ah, sucks. Just as I was saying, my mega bass, and there it goes. No way, you're lying. <sighs> Dang it. Ah, there's 25 bucks down the drain. <laughs> Oh yeah, see, here's a lot better. Well? Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> Let's go, baby. <laughs> this is a nice one, too. <laughs> Another largey lake mead jerk bait. Out of there. Well, there goes another lure. Good line. Oh my god. Yours was that one. That was, that one wasn't as expensive. With ten bucks. Still. But that one didn't break from the lure, it broke from the connection knot. The thing to be mindful too of anglers, if you're gonna fish here at Lake Mead, be mindful of the shoreline because of the receding water line. The shore is very, very soft. So it's very easy for you to step in and just go knee deep right away. So if you're fishing by yourself, it could be very very dangerous because you can get stuck so if you're gonna fish here at lake mead try to go with a buddy or just be extra 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 precautious if you're gonna fish here alone because the last thing you want to do is be stuck in the mud knee deep or even worse waist deep it can happen and it could be extremely extremely dangerous so a little a little tip i wouldn't even say a tip just try to walk you know walk around Sure, you're going to walk a little bit further and a little bit longer, but you're going to be safe. And that's all that matters in the end. Saving a little bit of time doesn't outweigh your safety just for fishing. So just be mindful and be safe out here. And all right, anglers. I told this man to use whatever he wants. And the time that it takes me to rig this drop shot. Because once I throw that drop shot in, I'm going to pull up a bass. So 
we won't see what's going to happen. Minutes. All right, Jesse. You had your chance. What I tell you? What I tell you? What I tell you? <laughs> Whoa, he spat my worm out. Dude, there's more bass in here. There's another one chasing right here. No bullshit, no bullshit. Bass chasing another bass. Look, look, look. Under. Hey, right. This is a good one. Dude. I was a fighter. I told you, bro, I have fins to cap with you. <laughs> He's not capping. He's not capping. <laughs> Woo! Another one anglers, drop shot, robo worm. That's gonna do it for us today, anglers, here at Lake Mead at Hemingway Harbor. It was another stupid hot day. Typical Vegas day here by the lake, but Wind picked up a little bit, but we still managed to get on some bass today. Two on a jerk bait, one on a drop shot. But we're gonna try to continue to come out here to Lake Mead and try to bring some more Lake Mead content. Try to survey the situation out here at Lake Mead with this whole drought situation and see how it progresses. Hopefully it gets better because it's, it's pretty bad and it's actually really sad. So hopefully it gets better and they try to figure something out so we can help save the lake. But like and subscribe guys, it'll help us out tremendously and uh, we'll catch y'all next time.